every day is another step into the press button age. The pushing of buttons regulates your water supply. You can even water your garden automatically. Almost everything you want done, in fact, can be performed at the turn of a knob or the push of a button, inside the home or out of it. Little wash or big wash, it's buttons that do the work. Here in this laundry, a button fires the boiler and other buttons do the rest. An ultra-modern laundry like this can give our wash the kind of treatment it could never have expected in Grandma's day. What with water specially filtered and softened, the correct mixtures of soap and temperature for every kind of garment, four washes, two rinses. And finally, a nice dreamy dance in the dryer with a choice of gay partners. As for your shirts, today's modern laundry treats them like royalty, and once again, all by push button. Gone are the days when a squad of hefty ladies lay in wait ready to clout the life out of your most precious garments. Now, a parade of machines stands ready to give them the glamour treatment. Cuffs, shoulders, collars, a general pressing. business is so smooth, so expert, it'd be no surprise if these mechanical workers did the talking as well. Now, sir, this won't hurt you one little bit. We'll straighten you out in no time. Now, a little touch of judo. Whoops, there we are, finished. You've never looked as smart as this since your shop window days. And so it is with your household linen. Automatic machinery is processing it with a skill and care beyond the reach of manual work. Whether it's an improvement on yesterday's iron, or a pocket radio with valves the size of shirt buttons, almost everything we touch is another manifestation of the automatic era. Today's new gadget is tomorrow's commonplace, soon to be taken as much for granted, say, as our daily milk. Milk is now another highly mechanized industry, right from the milking process itself, operating at the touch of a switch, right through to its delivery to your door. Yet it's not all that long ago that it came round your street in a horse float, and it was dished out in a measure from a churn. As for the biscuit you take with your morning tea, now that really is a press button product. It starts its life in this huge automatic mixer, which signals when it's ready to make a fresh batch. The factory's control room answers with the pressing of a button, and a mechanical brain sets to work piping the precise amount of every ingredient to the mixer. One button sets the mixer working, another button tips out the mix. It's conveyed, rolled, cut into shapes, baked, coated, cooled, wrapped and weighed again, all automatically, in a vast factory where machinery seems to have taken over from man almost entirely. In some industries, the buttons are even beginning to push themselves. This cement mixing plant is one of the most fully automated in Britain. 
an electronic machine, a brain, operates it entirely on orders fed to it on a series of punched cards. From the moment the machine receives each order to the moment it delivers the required mix down a chute into a waiting truck, there's not a hand's turn of manual labor involved. Automatically, it keeps the hoppers on top of this great tower filled by conveyors and drops the right measures of sand, shingle, cement, water and other materials into the mixing bins. It can deliver any one of 1,500 different concrete mixing formulae into the lorries waiting below at the rate of one order every two minutes of the day. But the industry we take most for granted of all is the one behind that ordinary light switch. Electricity itself, the lifeblood of the press button age. It feeds our automatic brains, works the projector showing this film, spreads light in our darkening streets. It has to keep working all the time, adjusting its supply to the varying calls of a whole country busily pushing buttons. The lighting of any big city makes an immense call on power, which is supplied through a series of push button substations. When London's theatre land lights up at night, much of it is triggered by a number of tiny swinging needles hidden in the lampposts themselves. A man in St Martin's Lane presses a button. The station puts out a pulse, a signal over the ordinary electric supply. And needles like this in the lampposts react to it, swinging more and more till at last they trip a switch and on come the lights. In the aircraft industry above all, automation now plays a vital part. Here the electronic brain truly comes into its own, solving problems in minutes that would otherwise take months. The brain here serves an aircraft simulator machine. This can imitate exactly the performance of many different types of aircraft in flight. They use it to train air crews, to give airline pilots realistic refresher courses, or convert them to handling new kinds of planes. But far above all this, the aircraft handling simulator can look into the future, assisting designers with guidance on the likely behavior of new aircraft. Indeed, it's in the air that the press button age truly comes into its own, with all its challenges, with all its threats. For the choice between fantastic achievement, a life of plenty on the one hand, and on the other, annihilation will in the end be determined by which button we choose to press.